just in case the people living here didn't see the signs asking them to leave by Monday morning, Boston Public Health Commission workers came to remind them. You have till 7 a.m. to remove your belongings. Oh, it will remove them for you. Ronald Geddes has been living in a tent on so-called methadone mile for months after losing his job at a bakery. Because of COVID-19, we're going to shut this place down and you're laid off, and that's where I'm at. And I was collecting unemployment, and they took ended that September. Now the city says his stay has also ended. In all of this, we have to identify beds and shelter for individuals. That's what is needed in terms of uh, the new encampment protocol. But these guys don't want to go. People don't want to live with sex offenders and, and, and dirty people, unfortunately, and a lot of mental health cases. I'll put a tent somewhere else, then what are you going to do? I mean, I, I'm not, I don't want to do that. And I don't want, I'm not asking for, like, pity part. Of, I'm just... I can't afford the rent right now. To be honest with you, I'm not likely being charged charter. A lot of our rules are better on the street. I know that they can't put you out in the rain. So today was a no-go. The city says it will be back as this will be an ongoing process. They got all my stuff two weeks ago. Took it all. And now they're going to take it again. The church just helped me out with a tent. And now they're going to take that. Suffolk Sheriff Steve Tompkins says he wants to use a closed ICE detention center for treatment of some of the people in the area. He also says he wants to use a mobile courtroom so that arraignments could be done right there. For now, it's the very latest here in Boston. Wale 